So be glad you're not the only one. It's going to happen to all of us, with no regard to your intelligence. Despite their negative effects, their epic errors still manage to be imprinted everywhere, from textbooks to postcards. So sit back and watch this Sullis video and get some lessons from mistakes that were even bigger than yours. Number 10. The 1821 Derby at Epsom If pigs can fly, or at the very least horses, then this little art piece that stands tall and proud in one of the world's most famous museums is a perfect example that even errors, gigantic errors can swoop under the radar as long as they have a name, backing them up. Theodore Jericho, an influential French painter and pioneer of the Romantic movement, was for a lack of a better phrase, da bomb. Back in Paris, during the 19th century, he was a rock star that could do no wrong. His painting, The Raft of the Medusa, was considered the artistic equivalent of the second coming of Christ. Hence, when in 182, old Theo drew on his interpretation of the Epson Derby, it took over 50 years for someone to notice the ginormous error. Unless the painted horses came from Krypton, their galloping was a bit off. Both front legs and hind legs extended outwards, basically allowing them to fly. Photographer Edward Moodbridge even went out of his way to prove this type of galloping was impossible. By breaking down the running motion of horses, identifying that they never have both legs raised in this way while running. Number 9. The Cross of San Damiano The large, Romanesque cross of San Damiano is famous throughout the world as the very idol that St. Francis of Assisi prayed to before receiving his miraculous visions. The very same visions that ended up reforming the Roman Catholic Church. In other words, it's a very big deal. The error, just look at Jesus' raging abs. It actually took over seven centuries for someone to see the giant. Well, you know what? Right on the Son of God's abdomen. It's either proof of our ever-evolving dirty mind, or it's just that people really didn't want to think about Jesus in that way. The mistake was pointed out in War Acres, Oklahoma, as a congregation stead at a reproduction of the cross, and someone finally piped up. It became one of those once you see it, you can't unsee it sorts of moments. Since then, there have been multiple artists commissioned with the task of tossing on a bit of cosmetic on Christ's belly in order to disguise the now glaring cartoonish Woody. Number 8. Wikipedia's Logo An article in the New York Times way back in 2007 went all Mad Max on Wikipedia's corporate brand. The digital database is no stranger to vandalism. Their open-door policy of allowing users to update articles, heralds in the jokers, like moths to a flame. Their logo, however, representing their advisor of free encyclopedia available in every language, is a world globe composed of jigsaw pieces, each shard of the puzzle branded with characters from various languages. The error is that two of the characters were meaningless because of minor slips. The wrong characters were this one in Japanese and this one in Devnagri, the script used in several modern Indian languages. Jimmy Wales, the founder of Wikipedia, says the symbolism actually works in the company's favor. The nature of Wikipedia is such that because it is written by everyone, there are some errors. Nonetheless, the digital titan has redrawn the logo multiple times, trying to plaster over the era. Number 7. The White House The White House, due to its diplomatic prowess, is one of those buildings that doesn't have a front or back entrance. You certainly can't have the president of Uruguay entering the presidential manor through the rear. As such, its ports have always been called the North and South Face. During Reagan's administration, the president decided that the building's North Face is favorite, would become the iconic emblem of the edifice in most visual representations. In essence, President Reagan created the idea of the White House logo. The North Face became the defector illustration for all things signaling the White House. Now, and here's the big face palm. Notice that there is something odd about the arches. Let's compare a real image of the North Face with the logo found on the White House's website. The arches, do you see it? What should be a pyramid is, in fact, a dome. The errors date back to 2003, and since then, it has been partly corrected. The new one now sports new paradoxes. The back pillars on the main entrance are inconsistent in numbers and alignment with the real White House. And here's the thing, both images have become so ubiquitous and widespread that most government agencies leapfrog between one and another. Basically, the logos are here to stay. Number 6. William Penn One of Philadelphia's most memorable images is that of their William Penn statue on top of Philadelphia's City Hall. The effigy of Phil's founder, 
a 37 feet tall behemoth, has been a tourist landmark since 1894. The Chamber of Commerce and Cunning Gift Shops have used the enormous bronze colossus and its lack of patent or copyright as one of the most reproduced images in their stock of memorabilia. History lesson over. Now let's embrace the mistake. The sculptor, Alexander Milne Calder, had always assumed that the statue was going to be viewed from a low angle from street level. So, the running gag is once you cross one pen square, perspective and angles transform William's outstretched hand into another limb. The patriarch, most natives agree, whizzing all over his town and marking his territory. What the sculptor failed to take into account was the fact that Philly was going to become one of the nation's biggest metropolises. The city was going to expand and explode in a rapid fashion. Number 5. Office of Government Commerce This is either an agency that doesn't give a fig about its image or has its head deep in the sand. This logo, composed of only three letters, spur on a case of fevered public outcry that's actually received international recognition. At first glance, the logo looks innocuous, but use your imagination. Twist it clockwise 90 degrees, and suddenly you have a government agency that's giving you the bird. So what's the limacy? They are still using the brand. Number 4. Norman Rockwell Schlongs are a big part of this video. You'll quickly realize that there is a 50% chance that whenever someone noteworthy screws up, genitalia will be concerned. In this case, we're looking at the famous artist, Norman Rockwell. Even those who know absolutely jack about art can actually point out a Rockwell in any museum. He painted over 4,000 paintings, each with a unique and recognizable style. What few people understand or actually know is that old Norman was always working against a deadline. His pristine and magical scenes came out once every two weeks as covers for the Saturday Evening Post. As such, every so often, his lack of sleep and Red Bull got the better of him. The man screwed up. One of his most iconic images, People Reading Stock Exchange, a classic that was reproduced thousands of times, has an embarrassing mistake that actually haunted Norman for quite a while. Look at the man with the red shirt and the white apron. Notice that something is off with his three bent knees. To quote Richard Halper, the go-to figure and biographer of Rockwell's life on that bizarre edition, it's likely to have been an inexplicable phallic supplement. Number 3. Crazy Horse Memorial This sculpture in Black Hill, South Dakota is a non-profit undertaking honoring a precious moment in Native American history. The story goes that when a badass Oglala slash Lakota warrior named Crazy Horse was asked by a frontiersman, where are your lands now? Now the native pointed out to the distance and tragically replied, my lands are where I dead, now lie buried. So hundreds of years later, the state wanted to immortalize the episode. The gigantic error that's been carved into the side of a mountain is the fact that pointing a finger in Native American culture is considered accusatory. In other words, even though pointing your index finger seems normal by Western standards, the Native Americans see it as a rude thing to do, something you'd only do to those you dislike. If painting the guy you are trying to honor as an impolite person isn't bad enough, then get this, Crazy Horse refused to have any pictures taken of him while he was alive, even deliberately burying himself in a grave where he couldn't be found. Why someone then thought having a ginormous mountain sculpture of Crazy Horse would then be in the spirit of him is beyond me. To rub salt in the wound, the Black Hills, where the sculpture is situated, is a sacred spot for Native Americans, causing even more widespread controversy over the memorial. That's why the error with this isn't just a subtle, humorous error, it's considered by many to be a desecration of their Indian culture. The good news is the sculpture isn't kept finished so could be amended by portraying Crazy Horse as pointing with all fingers, but the approved design hasn't been changed. Number 2. Vdara This is the only building in this video, and it's definitely worthy of mention. The Vdara Hotel and Spa is a huge curved skyscraper in Los Angeles. That's opened in 2009. At first glance, it appears similar to any other luxury hotel, until you decide to sunbath by the pool and get burnt to a crisp by a beaming death ray off the building's windows. You see the building's unique curved structure is the key to the hidden era in this famous design. The windows are shaped in such a way they actually collect solar rays from the sun and almost like a mirror, beam them down to the hotel's swimming pool area. Its shape is akin to acting like a parabolic reflector, and as the sun's position in the sky changes during the day, the problem affects different areas of the deck. 
Not only has this been able to burn people, but it also often raises the pool's temperature and has even been known to melt objects. Raphael Vinoli also designed the walkie-talkie skyscraper in London, which has funnily enough been dubbed the walkie scorchy due to a similar problem. So, if you decide to stay at any one of these buildings, your wallet won't be the only thing getting burned. Number 1. The Mona Lisa The most reproduced painting in history is painting so priceless that it can't be insured is also a battleground of the stakes, imperfections, and conspiracy theories. For the sake of this video, I'm going to focus on the imperfections and skim over the Dan Brown BS. Although be warned that the painting has become such a cultural phenomenon since it was stolen in 1911, perhaps even by Pablo Picasso, that's every error and mistake by da Vinci himself has been written off and explained. Apparently, the master doesn't do errors. It is beneath him. Everything is as it should be. Mistakes were made on purpose. Here we go in numerical order. Firstly, the name of the painting. The Mona Lisa is a huge spelling error. Mona is supposed to mean in Italian, my lady. The only problem is that Leo accidentally spelled it with one N instead of two. Secondly, Da Vinci forgot to paint eyebrows on the chick's face. Thirdly, not exactly Da Vinci's fault, but an imperfection nonetheless, is that the painting is damaged in 1956. A man named Hugo Anzaga threw a stone and damaged the painting. If you look closely, you can see a small patch next to Mona's left elbow that has been taped over by the museum's officials. Fourthly, not exactly a mistake, but interesting nonetheless, cause if you look at Mona's right hand, you'll notice a bump. Some historians believe that's either A. Da Vinci made an anatomical loops, or B. And most likely seeing as Leah was a proud scientist, the muse and model used for the painting suffered from a malignant tumor. And finally, Mona was drawn and redrawn by the master at least three times. X-rays and other tests proved that there were at least three different versions of the painting underneath the main coat of oil on the canvas. Every so often, depending on how the light hits the portrait, these ghosts distort the final piece. Do you know any errors hidden in famous designs that we may have missed? Leave a comment and let us know down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave the like, and since we might be making a sequel to this video, click that subscribe button to be notified once a new video is released. Thanks for watching.